Scott Sell was lining up for a shot of goal and Joel said, my dad slept with your mum. So, poor Marie as well. Not nice words, I don't think. You're pretty close to the best on ground today. You're about three feet from him. The day Joshy Kennedy kicked ten goals, he was on about eight, and I heard Chris Maston yell out to his opponent, um, you're going to win the reverse Coleman. Matthew Yench was copping it once and he said, uh, the biggest crime in football is that I can't make my own kicks. The old cliche, who are you? That's the one that gets used the most, and it's, uh, it's not bad when you hear it. I got who are you from Dan Fine early on in my career. Ricky Pettard once said that uh, I was the worst captain um, he had ever played against. So uh, now I am his captain, so that's interesting. <laughs> I know all the redhead ones. Jonathan Brown said that he was going to eat McVeigh, and uh, Spike asked him if he was going to use the same bowl that he uses with, when he gets his hair cut. Tate Pears <laughs> called a bloke a prawn once particularly because he had a good physique, but crap head. <laughs> I like that one of Martin Pikes when he said to one of the Wakelands, uh, you two, you brothers still sleep with the light on. Richard Sherman, he said, um, I've seen better hands on a snake. Andrew Mackey, he was up and about, and he, he said to to a few of us guys in the back line, uh, do, we, do we get four points for this, or do we just get two points for this win because we're playing north? And, uh, Adam Simpson at the time was in was in vicinity and he actually he lost it and thought it was pretty funny. Someone from uh, West Coast called uh, said that Jamie McMillan looked like a horse and that was the best and it's even better because the nickname stuck. Barry Hall to Jack Redden, I think when Redo first came on he, he was he was pretty uh, lightly framed and uh, I remember Baz asking if he'd grown pubes yet. Uh, Hodgie said to um, to Brent Stanton, oh. I'm on Monfries, and it was Brent Stanton. He knew full well who it was, but he didn't enjoy it too much. Jonathan Brown probably um, yelling out while he's standing at centre forward, I'm coming for you. Your mum wears army boots, and I'd never heard that. Given up sledging a little while ago. Andrew Mackey, I think, once said to Lloydy, um, you're surely only running around for your paycheck. Someone once yelled out to me, Richards, you're nowhere near as good as your grandfather and he wasn't that good either and I had a bit of a laugh because he confused me with Joel Reynolds because my grandfather never played football. Coxie, for sure, and the biggest nose as well. Dan Cox. Coxie, yeah, can talk a bit. Probably Coxie. Coxie's pretty good. You can back it up too, I think. Probably Jaron Geary. He never shuts up, never stops talking. Bit of a pest. Jaron Geary gets, he gives a bit of lip. Alex Vasolo likes the app. We got rid of two of them, um, Daisy and then Heath Shaw, but um, recently new player Taylor Adams, he's got a, he runs his mouth pretty well at training so far, we'll see how he goes in games. Ah, uh, Tex. Eddie Betts actually has a pretty big mouth, like just in general, but otherwise, um, Jared Petrenko. Matthew Yench. <laughs> uh, Matthew Yench. Probably Hayden Valentine. Hayden Valentine. Tyrone Vickery, and it's underrated. Ty Vickery probably doesn't have the biggest mouth, but he's probably the wittiest of all the bunch. Nick Comer. Nick Comer. I'd have to say BJ, good and bad again. Brennan got up. Charlie Dixon. Charlie Dixon. Andrew Mackey. Andrew Mackey, no doubt. A hey, Mackey. Andrew Mackey. Yeah, Andrew Mackey. Sam Wright. Sam Wright, I'd say. Loves, loves a bit of a sledge. Tommy Rockcliffe, he probably gives out a sledge. Tommy Rockcliffe. Sam Mitchell or Jordan Lewis. Jordan Lewis is pretty good on the app. Sam Mitchell has an awfully large mouth, and he's also got a big mouth as well. Sam so Mitchell. Shane Mumford. Lyndon Dunn, for sure. Lyndon Dunn. G is pretty good. No mouths are bigger than Ben Hudson's. He's, I can still hear he's even know he's at Collingwood. Oh, Gussie, Angus Monfrey's for sure. Angus Monfrey's brilliant. Probably Dane Rampy. Yeah, and which is surprising, because he's inexperienced with football, but it doesn't seem to stop him. Dan Hanover. Daniel Henry. Jack Rewalt. Jack Rewalt. Jack Rewalt. Probably Jack Rewalt. Uh, Jack Rewalt. Ben Hudson. His motor mouth. Jared Blair's pretty good. Brendan Goddard's a really big sledger, and now that he's an opposition player, I can say that. Probably uh, Andrew Walker and I sort of had a couple of runnings. Yeah. Jonathan Brown's good. I'm going to go Stevie Johnson. Stevie Johnson. Steve Johnson. I've heard secondhand that Stevie J's, Stevie Johnson's pretty, pretty good on the sledge. Andrew Mackey, he's got a pretty sharp tongue on him. Uh, Andrew Mackey. Andrew Mackey's pretty good. Andrew Mackey from Geelong. 
I haven't heard too much, but apparently Andrew Mackey, uh, he's at the other end, but goes really well. well last year it was Shane Mumford. Angus Morfries. Um, yeah, Michael Voss, I suppose, was one that used to um, used to hit me up pretty hard, but um, obviously in, he did it all in um, in good jest, but he used to get through to you. Ricky Pettit. Uh, Joe Montagna's always sledged me since my second game, um, and he always calls me schoolboy, so that continues to this day. Hayden Ballantyne, he's a shocker. Probably Ballantyne, he likes to mouth off a, a fair bit, which is good fun. Ballantyne. Oh, a little bit of Hayden Ballantyne, I had a bit of him. Uh, Hayden Ballantyne. Hayden Ballantyne. Not so much of a sledger, more of a pest is Hayden Ballantyne. Oh, Ballantyne loves to throw a bit of chat around, but I think it's all good and fun with him. It's different when he's when you're about five foot seven tall. I'd say the Hawks are pretty good. Hawthorne. Hawthorne. I'd say the Hawks. Probably Hawthorne, they're pretty good at it. Hawthorne, I reckon. Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne seem to get in on the party together. Hawthorne get stuck in the other fair bit as well. Hawthorne? As a whole, free man or other worse. The Pies. Richmond. Probably Richmond. Probably Richmond. Probably the Tigers, Richmond, yeah. GWS. The young kids at GWS have got a, got a bit to say, I reckon. I think Geelong are pretty good sledges. Haven't noticed too many others. Geelong in their heyday the last couple of years have, have always been good. Geelong. Maybe Geelong. They can back it up, they've won four flags. That's probably us, Geelong. <laughs> We're probably the, the most well-renowned as doing it, so don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah.